Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, we're here with this uh, Ford Transit Custom and we're going to step through how the Euro 6 engine works, how the uh, DC to DC operates with a Euro 6 with a smart alternator and this is actually a Euro 6.2. So the first thing I've got to show people is in the battery compartment here, this little gadget back here that I'm touching here is a coulomb counter. It's counting the energy as it flows um, out of the battery pack here. So you can see the battery pack in here. And the reason why it counts the energy is that when this vehicle starts, the alternator does not go to a high voltage. It just sits there in the 12 voltage range. And this counter counts and waits until this battery's depleted 30%, roughly. And when it's down 30%, then the alternator will kick in. Now, why does it do that? It's to save uh, fuel. And so for the compliance for this vehicle is based on having very little fuel consumption because of the alternator load at start up at idle and when it immediately takes off. And so the challenge for DC to DCs like our Scotty over here that you can see under that seat is how to not breach that. If we put a regular DC to DC in here in this vehicle at the moment and it was pulling full power when the engine's idling we are actually breaching the Euro 6.2 in, in uh, compliance. If we were in Germany uh, we'd end up in jail but not in Australia. Australia is still on Euro 5 at the moment but if it ever changes this is going to change pretty uh, dramatically. So what we do in Scotty over here is something a bit special. So what we've done on our Scotty side over here is we've added in this little black device down here which reads the CAN bus of the vehicle. And when the vehicle is under 1000 RPM, which we program into it, it turns Scotty off. And Scotty will come on, the DC to DC will come on after 1000 RPM, which is, uh, means that uh, it will be fully compliant with the Euro 6.2 standard uh, we can even program it based on engine load as well, uh, but we're just doing this one here, this first test here, on 1000 RPM. Below that, there's no load um, on the alternator at all. Above 1000 RPM, this will come on and go up to 2500 watts. So when you're at the lights and you stop, this automatically turns off, no load. Take off, over 1000 RPM, it will start up again. And we've got a slow start up after 1000 RPM. I've programmed it for a 15 second delay after 1000 RPM before it starts up. So this suddenly makes this uh, vehicle um, fully compliant. It will add some fuel. Now the story gets a little bit better. On top of this vehicle, we have a 400 watt uh, uh, solar panel. Um, we have it programmed so that the power is going from the solar down into the vehicle battery, which will even delay the alternator even more. So if you're sitting at the lights, for two minutes, um, the alternator is highly, highly unlikely to come on because of the additional solar power going in. So uh, this will be the first car we've done where the solar is actually contributing to the fuel economy. Now, it's not a lot. It's less than 1%, but it's helping. And uh, it means that uh, David Boyan, who's driving this, uh, will be the most uh, solar efficient and compliant efficient uh, person in uh, Queensland today. So let's have a look at the display. So right now the engine's off. We've got the solar pumping in nearly 300 watts and this 100 watts that you see down here is going into the starter battery. So right now the starter battery is is uh, is full as a goog and the solar is charging this battery and putting as much power as it can into the starter battery to keep it full. So now uh, we'll just start up. We want to be below, Kieran, below 1000 to start. So now we just start the car, we're under a thousand revs and what you'll see here is that uh, the bottom here just switches to, it's a nominal number, minus 25, uh, virtually nothing going in. The solar is still going straight into the battery here and now we're going to increase the revs over a thousand revs. So now we see the power starting to increase and this will just slowly wind up until we get to uh, 2500 revs here. 2500 watts, 2308, 2506 is what we've got set at the max in this car. So now it's pulling up. Right, let's take the revs back below 1000, please. Now we've gone back below 1000, and look at this, it's turned off. Uh, so that is the uh, compliance to Euro 6.2. How good's that?